video, I'm showing you five tips on how to stay motivated in school. So whether you're in college or in high school, these are five tips that will definitely help you. And even if you're not in school, if you just are in need of some motivation to keep going to work or just for day-to-day -day things, all of these tips are super, super helpful. Recently with finals and just everything piling up with the holidays, I've been super, super stressed and I started getting in not a great mindset and I was being frustrated all the time and not in the best mood. So I decided, you know, I need to turn myself around, my life around, my thought process around and I started practicing these five tips and Literally, it's made such a difference. I feel so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, you should definitely hit the subscribe button. But without further ado, let's just get started. First things first, I know some people might be wondering about my lip color and it'll be in the description box to so make sure you go check it out. So my very first tip is to stay positive. Literally, all you have to do is stay positive. Your life or even your grades are not gonna change in a day, but what can change is your attitude and your mindset about things. And that really does make such a difference. If you're feeling frustrated and beat down by the world or by school or by work or by anything, this is literally like the key to everything. The more that you're upset about something or you're just like pitying yourself, it's only gonna get worse and nothing is gonna get better. So definitely staying positive is like the number one key to everything. And I know it can be super hard, but think about everything good that's happening in your life. If stuff seems to be going wrong lately or you just feel like you're getting crapped on or anything, Count your blessings. Think about all the good things that are happening in your life despite everything that you feel like has been tearing you down. So the first tip is definitely to stay positive. My second tip is to practice the law of attraction. So I've heard about the law of attraction and if you don't know what it is, it is the ability to attract or manifest anything you want pretty much into your life by really focusing in on it and believing that it's happening or it will happen. And the key to this is you cannot have a doubt in your mind about it because that doubt is only going to bring you down and your focus down and it's not gonna get you what you want in the long run. I recently watched an amazing video on this by Jordan Cheyenne, I'll link it down below. You guys should definitely go check it out. It totally opened my mind and my perspective on things. And if you'd like to see a whole video on the law of attraction, on like my thoughts and stuff like that, please let me know in the comments below because I'm reading a book about it and I love it. And I just think that it's such a great way to live your life. But definitely always believing in yourself, believing that it will happen. If you want to get an A on a test, you don't say, oh, I hope I get an A or uh, like, I wish I, I'll get an A. No, say it in your mind and just got to keep repeating it. I will get an A, I will get an A or I will pass. I will pass, you know, whatever your goal is and you really truly have to believe it and then you put your actions in such as studying, reading your flashcards or reading more out of your textbook or something like that. The more you believe it, the better chances it you have of it actually happening. But I'm still new to the subject so if you'd like to see a more better like in-depth explanation of the law of attraction and how it can impact your life again I'll link that video down below but definitely my second tip is for practicing the law of attraction and just bringing that positivity into your life so my third tip for staying motivated is to take breaks take study breaks take breaks to go on a walk take breaks to work out take breaks and watch your favorite youtube channel or one episode of your favorite show it's super easy to feel overwhelmed when you've been studying or doing something for hours on end and honestly like for me it can get to the point where i'm reading out of my textbook or i'm trying to study and i'm not even thinking about what i'm reading and i have to reread it like 20 times and it just doesn't stick in my brain but wearing yourself out like that is only going to make things worse so definitely it takes some time to take a break whether it's again you know, watching an episode of your favorite show for like 30 minutes to an hour, just getting your mind off of everything that you're like trying to cram in your brain. Or even just taking a quick 30 minute nap. Sometimes it just helps me focus if I just take a quick little nap, even if it's just 15, 30 minutes, just to rest your eyes and like shut everything off and kind of recharge. I think it makes such a difference. It also will help you stay super alert and just help you retain information because there is no point in studying and just keeping pushing and pushing if it's not going to stick in your brain. So again, my third tip tip is to make sure you are taking a break. So my fourth tip is to make sure that you always have a clear goal in your mind. This kind of goes back to the law of attraction. You really have to believe in what you're doing. You have to see past the moment right now. So if you constantly are reminding yourself of your end goal, whether that's just to study for three hours tonight, if you're constantly reminding yourself that this will help me get an A, this will help me do well in my class, this is good for me, being positive, saying positive affirmations like that, it will really help you stay motivated. Keep your eye on the prize. It's 100% true. Whether, again, it's just like right in the immediate future or if it's a bigger picture, if you're like, 
I would love to graduate college early or I would love to, you know, pass this class with this at the end of the semester or something like that. Remembering your end goal is always like amazing and it's the key and it will help you and keep you pushing and moving forward. So one thing that I think is super helpful and a constant reminder is creating a phone background with all of your end goals. So you can do this on the computer or you can just do it on the notes on your phone and then take a screenshot. But there's also this really cool app that I like called Fonto, not sponsored at all. It's just a cool little app. You can make your own iPhone background and just type in your end goals, put it on your home screen and you are good to go. And literally every time that you look at your phone, cause I don't know about you, but I am looking at my phone all the time. You just have a constant reminder, you know, to stay positive, to work for your goals and it's a really good, just again, like positive reminder. So again, my fourth tip is to always remember your end goal and keep your eye on the prize. And then my fifth tip is to not be discouraged if you fail. Failing is a part of life and it happens to everyone, but failing or not doing as well as you thought is how you learn and it's how you grow from the person you are. And as long as you're trying your absolute best, if you're putting your all into something, even if you fail, you haven't failed at all. You've actually succeeded because you're going to learn and you're going to grow from that. And for me, when I was growing up, I was never afraid to tell my parents if I had failed a test or if I had failed a quiz. As long as I had tried my hardest, even if it, you know, ended up not working out, it feels freeing to be able to relay that to someone and especially like someone like your parents or if you have friends and you just need to like let the load off, be like, I, I failed. I did. I tried my hardest and I failed. But from that, you can learn and you can learn what you did wrong. You can study because there's always room to grow and make yourself better. And if you look at failures as a positive thing and a learning experience, it'll just make your life a lot easier. You'll be way less stressed and it actually ends up turning out a lot better than you think. So again, my fifth tip is to don't be discouraged if you fail. It's literally a part of life. Everyone goes through it. And if it makes you feel any better, I had not been doing well in one of my classes in college and it sucks. It really does. It feels discouraging for a while, but you have to banish that thought out of your mind. But now I'm doing better, especially since I've been practicing these five tips and I really think it's so helpful for life. And for school and for just a lot of things in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my five tips on staying motivated and I really hope that it was helpful for you. How do you stay motivated? Leave them in the comments below. We can all just help each other out and have positive energies and vibes and I love that and it's hard to stay motivated. Together, especially, we can really do it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, you should definitely hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out any of my videos. I upload on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I really hope that this could help you. I just felt like lately I've been kind of in a rut and it's very relatable. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you might feel the same way. Even if you don't, these are great things to practice just to have a positive and good outlook on your life. But again, I love you guys so much and I hope this could help you and I will see you in Saturday's video. Bye.